Hey, what's going on? I'm Josh and I'm here to give you a quick overview of live reacting. Live reacting is a live streaming software that allows you to create professional broadcasts and stream to multiple destinations at once. Live reacting's main advantage, among other solutions, is the ability to add interactive elements to your live stream. Your viewers can play games and quizzes, vote on polls, and see results in real time. These interactive elements prove to bring great results in increasing user engagement and brand awareness. But that's not all. With live reacting, you can also invite guests to your stream, customize the layout, add graphics and branding, display comments, and so much more. So if you want to create professional, engaging live streams, give live reacting a try. With live reacting, you can build streams like this, with countdowns, polls, and multiple screens. Like this, where you hold an interview with guests. Like this, where you have an interactive live show with a quiz or some other game. Or simply stream previously recorded video as if it's live. And you can do all of this from your browser. No need to download and install any more software. Live Reacting offers two ways to start a stream. You can either create a new project and build the stream from scratch on a blank canvas, or you can use Live Reacting pre-built templates. Templates allow you to kickstart faster and give you inspiration for the overlay design. You can tweak it a bit, customize, and go live in a matter of minutes. Now, let's create our first stream. Once I click New Project, it brings me to the Stream Editor. From here, I can build a stream from scratch and manage it while it's live. On the right side, you can see Layers. Layers allows you to add multiple items into your stream to make it look more professional. You can use images, videos, GIFs, text, camera view, screen sharing view, and games to add to your project as layers. You can drag and drop, hide and unhide the layers. If you're familiar with Photoshop, this feature works identically. Scenes allow you to combine layers into separate canvas and quickly and easily switch from one set of layers to another. You can create as many scenes as you want and name them to easily distinguish between them. For example, Welcome Countdown, Interview, Game, Break, End. You can automate your live stream by setting the order of each scene, so they automatically play one after another. This is especially useful when you want to run 24-7 live shows, where one video plays after another. In between the videos, you can use countdowns, games, and other interactive elements for engaging viewers. On the left, you have chat where you can manage all users' comments directly from the studio. This is especially useful when you stream to multiple destinations at the same time. So, for example, if you stream to three Facebook pages, YouTube and Twitch all at the same time, you can read and manage all comments from one place. Game changing. You can also selectively display users' comments inside of your live stream. You can select a design, color, font, position, and enable or disable animation. You can invite guests to join your stream via a link. It works super easy. You copy a link from the studio and send it as an invitation to someone who you want to see in your stream. Your guest just needs to open this link, allow access to camera and microphone, and then they join your stream. Instead of reorganizing multiple elements within the stream manually, Live Reacting lets you effortlessly handle them like a pro with its auto layouts feature. Auto layouts help you to automatically position and resize the webcams and other elements of the stream anywhere you want before you go live or when you're actually live. When your stream is live, you can manually change anything on the fly without the need to stop the stream. For example, you no longer need a logo in your stream, remove it and it'll be synced with your stream right away. You want to add a live poll in the middle of your stream, just add it and it will be displayed in your stream within seconds. Or you stream a countdown and you want to add a fun soundtrack, well, just upload your track and it's in the stream. You can choose the orientation of the stream. By default, Live Reacting offers you to stream your video in landscape format, but you can choose more options like square and portrait. With an ability to change formats, it becomes more convenient to view streams from mobile devices. In Project Settings, you select a social media destination to which you want to stream your broadcast. You can stream to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and select a custom RTMP destination. Also, in Settings, you can set up the duration of your stream, 
schedule it, and enter a title with description. By the way, you can also use Live Reacting in plugin mode to integrate its features into any other streaming software like OBS, StreamYard, Restream, and others. And that was it. I hope this video was useful, and I hope Live Reacting will be the tool that brings your streams to the next level. Well, with its bunch of interactive features, it definitely will. If you have any questions, just contact Live Reacting on their website in the live chat and someone will assist you right away.